everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be, what shall I call it, um, what to take swimming with you, or what I take swimming with you, or what I advise you to take swimming. Um, I swam for 10 years, so I kind of got used to packing the old swimming bag, getting organised, knowing what I need, and things like that. Um, and also, I've just been on holiday, and there was a swimming pool there, and my swimming bag was so organised, it was untrue, so I thought I would share what I'd take swimming with you, with me um, to make a good swim trip. So, I take it in an easy drawstring bag like this. This is just one of the old Nike drawstring bags. And you can see how old it is because the Nike tick is starting to fade. Right, so the first thing that I will talk about needing is some money. Do you want something to eat or drink before you go in? When you come out after the pool, you need a bit of money. Now, are the lockers by card as in like a special member card that you swipe and it locks it are they done by 20p 50p a pound take one of everything i always say usually they're a pound these days so i always make sure i've got a purse with some money in and pound coins and things like that so money is one and this is just from primark a cute little handy purse then obviously you need your bikini and you go in and blah blah blah, blah. now as soon as you come out the first thing I always do is put some flip flops on or any like waterproof type shoes because I don't know what about you but I hate my wet bare feet touching the floor where other people's wet bare feet is touching. Oh, I just hate it. Thumbs up if you hate that as well. So flip flops are a must. I just put them on and they don't take any room up. They're flexible as well if I want to bend them in my bag or whatever it might be. Um, and it just makes me feel better knowing my feet are protected when I'm getting showered and in my changing room and things like that. And then I'm guessing pretty much it will be shower time. So, you know if you go to Primark or pretty much any shop in the summer or maybe even any time of year, I'm not sure, you know they do the little um, like clear bags and you get like three bottles that you can fill with whatever you want in. I take them swimming with me. I fill two of the bottles up, one with shampoo, one with conditioner and the other with my own shower gel um, and also because the bag's like clear and plastic it's like waterproof so it doesn't let anything in and if your shower gel or shampoo decides to burst it will leak all over your bag but um, my little miniatures are in the loft at the minute in my suitcase ready for my next holiday travel so I just brought down the shampoo and conditioner that I use anyway which is this the L'Oreal LV Beauty oh no that's the slogan I think what is it called? Nutri Gloss Shine Conditioner and Shampoo Protein Pearl Mirror Shine Cashmere Touch Melt Mid to Long Dull Hair so I just use that and I just squeeze it into the smaller bottles because swimming bag room is precious you need as much room as you can get especially if you're going there by bus as well or something like that and then the uh, shower gel I use may look a bit weird since it says kids on it but I really like the smell of it and I've got really sensitive skin um, so I just need something gentle and this seems to do it and agrees with me so this is the Sanex Dermo Kids Body Wash and Foam Bath um, and that said it just smells smell of vision mm -hmm. smells so good like grapefruity grapey maybe um, so you need a shower gel and with that to get rid of all the chlorine to make you hopefully not itch I just take um, an exfoliating glove and just get rid of it all while I'm stood in the shower basically in my flip flops of course then one of my worst things is when you've been in the shower and you go into your changing room to get changed obviously um, and your hair is dripping everywhere and it just goes into your shoes or onto your feet that you've just dried and all things like that a good way to resolve that is take a turban. So when I get out of the shower and I get into my changing room, the first thing I do is I put my hair in my turban towel. It gets out of the way, it takes the dampness off it and it's just oh, just a good idea and for years I'd, well these didn't exist for years in my life and eventually when I got them like a few years ago, every swimming trip this is taken and it just works wonders. So a turby towel and then obviously a normal towel 
But then, I'm not a fan, I don't know what you're all like, but I'm not a fan of walking around the changing room like half naked kind of thing. Even though my, my bikini and my swimming costume one, I just don't like it. So these towel dresses are an amazing idea because you put yourself in it basically. You stand in it kind of thing. You put your arms in here and then it just like velcros up. So your top half's covered and then you can cover your bottom half up with this. And I just like doing that. And you don't have to, if you go in your lock, you don't have to worry about holding your towel around you or letting it drop because you've got your protection with the towel dress. So thumbs up to towel dresses if you use them or wear them. I mean, I know Primark stocked these. I got mine from Primark years ago. Yeah, Primark. So towels, obviously, I don't think you really need to tell me. I don't really need to tell you about that. And then this, another beauty invention from Primark because obviously once you've been in the shower and you're getting changed and you're taking your bikini off you don't put your soaking wet bikini in your swimming bag because it'll just leak through get heavier and heavier and then you'll have a massive damp patch in your um, swimming bag so Primark are doing these this year and it's basically a little waterproof bag so it says bikini bag on it and it's got the pattern on the back and you just zip it up and you just put your wet bikini in and honestly it Oh, this year I got only got this like four or five weeks ago and this year this has just helped me with swimming so much because it's done exactly what it's supposed to wet stuff in zip it up and you never even know anything about it and that was like two pound fifty from Primark so if you can't get your hands on one of these um just a carrier bag or anything that's plastic that will keep your stuff dry take it because you'll regret it otherwise and if you can't find anything at all wrap your stuff when you're done your wet bikinis in your towel like really well and then whack it in your bag then when you're finally dressed your face well yours might not be but my face is usually a mess after swimming as is my hair so i take a little mini makeup bag um and this again is from Primark and it matches my little purse thing that I got. So I'll start with hair. So you need to save as much space as you can. So of course I have got one of these little, probably gross, full of my hair. Little fold up mirror thing, um, hairbrush things. So I've got my hairbrush. Obviously I'll have a bobble with me. And then just put something useful in whether it be two bobbles so you can make two plaits because my hair dries really frizzy and oh it's just not great so I need to kind of have it in a style that's going to look acceptable once it's dry if I'm going out straight after it or I'm, I'm not allowed to go home kind of thing. I'm not allowed to go home but just not going home. So two bobbles for two plaits. Or oh, this is my bun tool which I have shown before in a tutorial if you look back in my videos it'll be there so you just kind of wrap your hair in it and then you've got a bun or a donut whatever and then obviously you've got your brush to brush it out so that is your hair done then for face the absolute basics that I think you need and stuff is deodorant first of all we don't want to be smelly so put your deodorant on first and then Again, because it's all about saving room, these little jam jars that you get, like, it's an old jam jar that I've washed out. Um, I put my foundation, not, yeah, my foundation in one and my moisturiser in another. So, moisturise first, simple moisturiser. Rimmel Wake Me Up foundation next. And for that, I need my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. So, I put that on. My face is finally looking a little bit better now. Oh, and also, I just bring a little mirror as well, which I stand on the um, shelf, if there's a shelf in your changing room, stand it on there, and then you can just see what you're doing with your face. Mirror is important because you don't know what on earth you're going to leave your changing room like if you're anything like me. Then a little concealer cover-up stick from the Natural Collection, which I'm nearly out of now, but cover up dark circles, any spots, blemishes, things like that. Followed by a bit of mascara to lift my eyes and things like that. Followed by the Natural Collection Pressed Powder in Neutral with my Expert... No, it's not my Expert. It's my Buffing Brush from Real Techniques. Um, just to get rid of any shine and finish my face off. And then a bit of lip gloss. This is a 
uh, like Tanya Burr um, by Eye Candy Cosmetics and this is Picnic in the Park and I love it and it tastes and smells like strawberries and cream. Tanya Burr has done an amazing job on this. So give myself a bit of that and then last but not least you want to smell nice so I put on a little bit of perfume. Now this is from eBay and it's like 99p and you just empty your perfume into it and then you just can take it out with you. So a bit of perfume. Then you haven't got a wet swimming bag. You haven't picked any verrucas up on your feet because you've used the flip flops. You haven't got any chlorine left on you because you have used your exfoliating gloves to get rid of everything. Your hair's not got wet everywhere and all your stuff because you've used your turban. Your bikini's not got wet everywhere because you've used your bikini bag. You've had money for your locker because you've come prepared with that. Your hair is sorted because you brought your brush and your two bobbles or your donut or your bun thing so your hair is sorted for when you leave. And your face is all sorted because you brought just very basic makeup and a mirror to look good when you leave the swimming pool. And you don't smell because you brought your deodorant and your perfume. So there it is. That is my swimming pool for holidays, swimming lessons, whatever. Basics what I think you should take. So if this has helped you, give it a thumbs up. It's a bit of a kind of different video, I guess. But it's one that I would have found useful to watch. And I'm really happy with like the equipment, we'll call it equipment, that I take on holiday with me now. So... Or when I go swimming, it just makes your life easier in the pool and you feel better when you leave because you know you're going to look alright kind of thing. So, thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye!